guys, this is the Arena of Valor Hero Spotlight. Today we're introducing Ignis, the Anointed One. Ignis is a mage hero who's a master of fire and capable of dealing massive AoE damage to enemy teams. This means that Ignis truly shines when enemies are grouped together during combat. By placing his Mark of the Flame on enemies, Ignis can greatly increase the damage of his skill combo. Let's move on to his abilities. Passive, Sacred Flame. Ignis' abilities place Mark of the Flame on his enemies. His next ability consumes the Mark and gains added bonuses. The Mark of the Flame debuff lasts for 2.5 seconds and is crucial to forming skill combos. When low on health, Ignis can cast Rain of Fire first, then follow up with Fire Crash, giving himself a sizable shield with his passive. First ability, Fire Crash. Ignis forms an orb of sacred fire and launches it in a target direction. This deals magic damage to the first enemy hit and nearby enemies in a cone behind it. This ability also increases Ignis' movement speed by 40% for a short duration. Fire Crash can be used to clear minion waves and harass enemy heroes from afar. Second ability, Rain of Fire. Ignis summons a rain of fire at the target area for 3 seconds. Enemies caught in the barrage take continuous damage and have their movement speed slowed by 30%. Marked targets are stunned for 1.5 seconds. As Ignis's primary form of crowd control, Rain of Fire allows Ignis to zone enemies, preventing an easy approach. This lets Ignis poke and wear down enemy teams before the fight even starts. Try to cast Rain of Fire on marked targets in order to trigger its stun effect and maximize its damage. Ultimate Holy Embers Ignis creates a formation of sacred fire at the target area. After a short delay, the formation bursts into flames, dealing massive magic damage to enemy heroes. Holy Embers can be cast quickly and deals bonus true damage to marked heroes, letting Ignis quickly decimate enemies in combat. Ignis' bread and butter combo is to start off with Fire Crash, followed by Rain of Fire to stun the marked enemy. This keeps them in Rain of Fire's area of effect, allowing it to deal its full damage. Finally, collect the kill by using Holy Embers to burn the opponent to cinder. As a mage, Ignis should farm in the middle lane and try to level up as fast as possible. Harass the enemy hero with Fire Crash in order to build an early health advantage. If the enemy hero doesn't back off at low health, Ignis can wipe him off the face of the map with a single ability combo. In the mid and late game, Ignis is a primary damage dealer who should stay in the backline and poke enemies from afar. Since he doesn't have any escape abilities, he can easily get caught and punished. Therefore, Ignis should be extra careful not to be caught without his team. Try staying behind tanky allies so that they can feel for you. Ignis' main role is to hit as many enemies as possible with his abilities and turn them into ashes. Thanks for watching this Arena of Valor Hero Spotlight on Ignis. See you next time.